Hockey is a very big deal in this town. It's a way of life almost. It's a family ritual. It's the excitement, it's the noise. It is a pride of North Dakota. It is a pride of our nation. That's one of the best things that ever happened in North Dakota, the Fighting Sioux. After 80 years, the University of North Dakota is retiring its Fighting Sioux nickname and logo. The NCAA is saying the logo and the name are hostile to Native Americans. Fighting Sioux gear is flying off the shelves. It's big, big business. The most opulent college hockey arena in the nation. There was actually dynamite on site, ready to blow it up if that name changed. Now, if we have to turn this into a constitutional measure in the end, that may be what we do. The Supreme Court declined to rule on the constitutionality of the law this week, so the issue will be on the June 12th ballot. They made it so that we would lose. Politically, we have no voice. We have no money, and our numbers are so few. We never were given a fair shot. This thing has been centuries in the making. We're just a forgotten people. I've never seen anyone discriminate or hurt over the name and logo. I was against the logo before I even knew there was a logo. This is the right of the people to be heard. We will now make my own the Fighting Hawks. That is the trailer of a fascinating film called Unauthorized, the story of the fighting Sioux. As you can see there, I think it looks outstanding. The film's creator joins us live tonight from Bismarck. His name is Matt Fern. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate you doing this. And, uh, man, obviously I've only seen the trailer, but it looks outstanding. I guess what I'd like to hear from you is the inspiration and the genesis uh, behind this movie. Uh, well, thanks for having me, Chris. Um, I'm uh, North Dakota, born and raised. I do documentary films in Bismarck. I've always done short films, two to three minutes, and uh, I was looking for a bigger story to tell. And uh, The Fighting Sioux... Uh, uh, name and logo had quite a story. So yeah, are you going to go back, do you, when, when people see this, it's about a 90 minute documentary from what you've told me, is it sort of the, the history of it and also the transition? I guess, what can people expect when they watch this film? Um, we really tried telling um, an unbiased story uh, from people who fought hard for and against the logo. Uh, we go back to the history, all the way back to uh, when University of North Dakota was founded. Um, but right now the film is not fully complete. It's only about 75% complete. And so that's why we uh, launched a Kickstarter campaign to help get us the rest of the way there. Which, by the way, you can find that at FightingSueMovie.com. FightingSueMovie.com. We can bring that up. So if people want to go support you, uh, here's an opportunity to do that. You know, one of the things I really enjoyed, even just from the trailer itself, is you clearly got both sides, both points of view um, on this topic. As you were going back and doing the interviews, doing the research, what stood out to you the most? What was the thing that was like, wow, I had no idea about that? Um, the first thing that stood out was how passionate everyone felt for it, for it <clears> against. <throat> um, in Bismarck, I really wasn't too uh, invested in the logo. I just kind of heard about it in passing. And when we actually went out to Grand Forks, Spirit Lake, Standing Rock to do interviews, um, everyone's passion just really uh, came across. And the other thing that surprised me was how long this has been going on. The um, main controversy with the NCAA has been going on for about 10 years, um, but people have been fighting for and against this logo uh, since the 1960s. You know, I'm curious, Matt, it, it, the November is uh, Native American Heritage Month. On Wednesday, we're going to have a very special show to pay special tribute to Native Americans across the country here. What, what were you hearing from Native Americans? Because I've heard both sides of this conversation. A lot of Native Americans say, hey, look, this is racist. We don't like it. it puts us in bad light. But I've heard some Native Americans come out and say, one, we love it, we support it. Secondly, this is a way for us to stay relevant in our society. Uh, you got to watch the movie to, to kind of <laughs> see both sides of it. Um, I, uh, I, I think the, the movie kind of speaks for itself uh, when you watch it. But there's definitely a, a good um, balance, I think, that we talk to people for and against it. Um, we just really wanted to tell um, a, a really compelling story. Did you find, though, Native Americans that were for it? And if so, what would they say to you specifically? Um, the specifics for the people for it um, would really touch upon a uh, pipe giving ceremony. Um, pipe filling ceremony, I'm sorry, um, where uh, the logo uh, and name were given to the university. Um, we uh, talked to some people who, uh, out in Spirit Lake, um, even wrote a book about, you know, why they're for it. Um, 
so there, there's, there's a lot of arguments to be made. All right, Matt Fern, we appreciate your time very much. I want to remind you, if you want to uh, check out the trailer uh, for a second time, if you want to support Matt and what he's doing here to get this movie completed, again, a 90-minute documentary, unauthorized, uh, The Fighting Sue Story. You can just go to FightingSueMovie.com. Again, FightingSueMovie.com. We'll learn more about it there. Matt Fern, the creator of it, we appreciate your time, sir, and good luck with everything. Thanks for having me on, Chris. I appreciate it. All right, stay with us. When we come back, we're going to get to your points of view, your feedback, but also a pretty interesting story that came out today. They're saying this is not a credible threat, but there was some ISIS propaganda at Youngstown State University. I want to remind you, just a few weeks ago, NDSU buys, and they were at Youngstown State playing. Wait till you see this propaganda. And as we know, there are imminent threats all across the world. Is this one credible or not? Plus, join our conversation. Let us know your thoughts on the Fighting Hawks, uh, the Fighting Sioux, UND getting snubbed. Very easy to do. Go to our uh, Facebook page. You can email us there and or text us at that hotline, 369-3187. We'll be right back.